Let's start solving question 3.2 now. So we have a market for secondhand cars and um, all those cars are either good or bad. Okay, the fraction of bad cars is a half. Now, a bad car will break down in six months. A good car never breaks down in six months. The sellers know the quality of their cars. The buyers do not. So we have a problem here of information asymmetry. Uh, a seller's valuation of a good car is 3,000 euros. The seller's valuation of a bad car is 1,000 euros. And also the buyer's valuation of a bad car is 3,000 euros and the valuation of a good car is 5,000 euros in part A, which cars will be sold and at which price. Now we have all the data written over here. So what does it mean to have a fraction of bad cars of one over two? It means that the probability of buying a bad car is gonna be one over two, which is the same as 0 0.5. And by definition, it means that the remaining probability of 0 0.5, we can have a good car. Now we have the valuations over here. Now with the valuations in mind, we can calculate what would be the willingness to pay of the buyer because that's the thing. We want to sell the car and we want to know how much the consumer is paying us. So the willingness to pay of the buyer would be the expected value because the buyer does not know which car he's going to get. And since there is a probability for each of them, he will take that into account. So in part A, we must calculate the price that the buyer is willing to pay. And that would be, that would be a half times the worst case scenario. So a half times the value of getting a bad car, which is 3000 euros. That's the willingness to pay for a bad car, 3000 euros. So a half times 3000 plus a half times the other case, a half times the best case where he would get a good car and he's willing to pay 5000 euros for that. So it's a half times 5000. Now, what would be the result over here? Well, we would have 1500 plus 2500 that's equal to 4000 euros. So the willingness to pay of the buyer is going to be 4000 euros. Now, what do we see? We see that the um, the seller, the seller is willing to sell the best cars, the good cars for 3000 euros. So if the price is if the price is greater than 3000 euros, if the price is greater than 3000 euros and it's at most 4000 euros because that is the maximum. Let me write like that maximum willingness to pay of the buyers. So it can be at most 4000 euros. Then we are going to sell the good cars. So sell good cars right there's gonna be trade sell the good cars now the question is can we also sell the bad cars well yes because the the seller the seller values the bad cars at only a thousand euros so if he's he values them at a thousand euros meaning that he would be willing to sell them for a thousand euros but he's gonna get more than three thousand euros then he definitely can sell bad cars as well so he's going to sell the bad cars as well and notice and notice that because of this information asymmetry the buyer does not actually know for sure what car he's going to get he might get a good car he might get a bad car but the idea is that as long as that price is in this in this range then both types of cars are going to be sold now one more thing to keep in mind what happens if the price is not in that range so what if the price is less than 3000 euros well, since the seller values the good cars at 3000 euros, it means that the sellers needs at least 3000 euros to sell a good car. So if he gets 2,999 euros, which is less than the valuation of the seller of a good car, then good cars would not be sold. So good cars would not be sold. Good cars are not, are not sold. So in that case it's inefficient because they would sell only the bad cars. Meaning if the price is in this range, so it necessarily has to be between 3000 euros and 4000 euros, all cars, both good and bad are going to be sold. Hope this makes sense. In the next video, we go to part B.